Hi everyone, welcome to my last 2018 yearly favorites video. This is the best of beauty 2018 lifestyle favorites. This is just kind of random things that I love throughout the year that have nothing to do with beauty, some fashion, some electronic, I don't know, are there electronics in here? It's just random stuff. So if you wanna see random things that I love throughout the year that have made a difference in my life, just keep watching. I've done three other best of 2018 videos. So if you haven't seen those, I'm gonna link those for you so that you can go check them out. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. But first, if you're not subscribed to this channel, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here, or if you've just been watching and you've just never hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and hit that notification bell. I know everyone says to do that, but it is real. If you're only subscribed, you don't get notified of every single video. So hit that bell, it really does help. I'm just gonna jump right in. I have no order as usual because I don't know, everything's just kind of here. I don't even know how many things I have in here. I'm just gonna go. The first thing I'm gonna start with is something I wear in so many of my videos and a lot of you have bought since seeing me wear it. It's a piece that I absolutely love and I've bought a few pieces from this brand and I fully intend on buying more. It's just such a simple everyday necklace that I absolutely love. It's this double circle necklace from Goriana. So simple and easy to wear for every day. And I love that it's adjustable in such an easy way. You literally just pull on it to make it longer or shorter. It can be choker length. It can be a little bit longer than a choker, but it goes with so many things. It's just a great everyday staple piece and it doesn't break the bank either. And I had to mention that because I had several of you tell me that you received it as a Christmas gift after seeing it here on my channel, which that just means a lot to me. It kind of just warms my heart and I love it too. So I just, uh, that's a favorite for this year. I wear it a ton. The second thing I'm going to mention I don't have sitting here with me because it is by my kitchen sink and it was just kind of a little bit of trouble to move because the family uses it. It is my simple human foaming automatic soap dispenser. You guys that have this love it as much as I do. It's really changed our lives in you know a minor way but nonetheless it's made our lives a little bit easier is it necessary no is it a luxury yes but it is so nice if you have gunk all over your hands not to have to touch your soap dispenser if you put it closer to the spout less comes out if you put it further down more comes out so you can really customize the amount that you get they have different scents i think you can even put dish soap in there but it's just been such a great product of the year. I'm not sure if we can ever live without it. We actually had a moment where we thought it was broken. It turns out it just wasn't charged, but we thought it was broken and I was really ready to run out and go get another one. That is how much we love this thing and don't want to be without it. I almost forgot about this next item and cannot believe because it took me forever to actually break down and buy these because I don't know, I guess the cost, even though all things considered, they're really not that much if you think about how much you're going to wear them. These are the Spanx leather leggings. I have size medium and they're fine for me right now. I'm, you know, around a size six or eight right now. I'd probably still get a medium even if I was my normal four or six. I don't know, maybe I'd get a small. <laughs> These are so good. They really do smooth you and they're comfortable at the same time, which you kind of wouldn't think would be possible, but they just seem to look good on everybody. I've worn them dressy, I've worn them casual, and I would really consider getting another pair. I have actually the regular leggings as well. I'll link those down below too. And I like those too. They're thick, they're not see-through, they're comfortable, they're stretchy, yet they compress you in all the right places without being uncomfortable. If you've tried Spanx underneath your dresses or pants and find them to be uncomfortable, because some people do, because you can kind of roll over the top at your stomach area. These don't do that. These come up high on the waist and they just smooth you all the way. It doesn't cut into your waist or anything like that. If you're a little leery of leggings in general, but you want to wear them, these would be good to have. I cannot express how much I like these and I like the regular Spanx leggings too. I talked about my Erin Condren planner in my gift guide. I think it was my gift guide or it was a monthly favorite. I can't be without this thing. And it took me until 2018 to actually break down and buy one. And I know they have a thinner, smaller version now, which I think is great if you don't always want something, you know, quite this bulky if you want to throw it in your purse. I just find for all the multitasking that I do with work, with 
my channel, with my side business, <laughs> with family, everything. I can fit it all in here and not have to hunt around. It's amazing everything I can do with this planner as far as goal setting and life planning. It really is just such a great planner. And yeah, you can get all kitschy with it if you want to, but you don't have to. You can be business. They have different covers you can change out, different things you can put on the inside too. I just, I really love this thing and I'm kind of sad that it took me until 2018 to actually change over to the Erin Contra planner. I fully realize that I sound like a broken record with the OTG 24-7 organizers, bags, whatever you want to call them. I have these three and I think two or three more. This is pretty much how I keep my purses, my totes, my carry-ons, my luggage, everything organized. They have so many sizes, so many prints, small, large, whatever you want, they seem to have it. They also have a bag club that I've been unbagging every month for the past couple of months that you can join for $28 and get one of their bags sent to you that's worth way more than $28. I just love these. They're pretty much indestructible. You can wipe out the inside if it gets messy. I am so glad that I came across this company this year because not only are they functional, but they're fashionable too. They also support a good cause. I just, I love the company. I love the products. I, this is one of my best finds of 2018. 2018 is when I got my blush or are these called lilac? And I was kind of surprised because they kind of look like blush. Adidas. I love these. I find that I wear them a lot and they're not really dingy yet, um, but I would definitely get another pair. I find them comfortable. I'm not sure exactly which model this is. I'll try and link some below. Obviously this color preference is my preference. I just find them great because it's just neutral enough to wear with a myriad of color choices, but it's got a little bit of color to it too. And I don't know, I like it. These are um, suede and they just kind of go with everything but they're casual and cute at the same time and I'm just I'm really glad that I got them they're just kind of a casual cute sneaker a step up from a regular running shoe or regular sneaker and just really really cute and fun 2018 is the year I discovered we yogurt I've talked about it on my channel before I put it in a monthly favorites I love that yogurt so much that may be when it came out I have no idea but I have to mention it because if you've not tried we yogurt OUI. It's by YoPlay. It's their French style yogurt. It comes in the little glass pots. Try it. If you are a Chobani fan, I think you'll really like We better. There's a difference. It's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. There's no tanginess whatsoever. It's so satisfying. I freaking love that yogurt so much. I tell everybody to try it if they can, and I'm always so disappointed when I go to a grocery store and they don't have it. But if you get a chance, try that yogurt. It is so delicious. Another thing that I got in 2018 is my Nectar mattress that I have in the guest room. I've mentioned it a couple of times here on my channel and it's really good. It's a memory foam mattress that's priced less than a Tempur-Pedic. We have a Tempur-Pedic in our bedroom and the Nectar in the guest room. And sometimes I sleep in the guest room if my husband is snoring, that's a whole other story. Or if I stay up too late and I don't wanna disturb him if he has to get up early or something like that. I have slept on this mattress. I've had guests sleep on this mattress. It's super, super comfortable. So if you're looking for a less expensive mattress alternative, a memory foam option, this would be, I think, in my opinion, a good one to try or at least look into. And they have a lifetime warranty on it too, which I really have not seen with many mattresses before. So the Nectar mattress is definitely a favorite for me for 2018. I'm gonna have to flash pictures of these two items up on the screen because they're in the wash. So I can't hold them up here like I could the Spanx leggings or one of the pairs of the Spanx leggings. They're both by Athleta. I got a pair of joggers from them earlier this year. The quality of Athleta clothing is so good. And I know people think, you know, it's pricey. It's not Lululemon pricey, but it's still very pricey. I've had some of their pieces for years and it still looks brand new. Swimsuits, athletic wear, lounge wear, regular clothing. It just holds up so well. So if you wear it, you're going to get a lot of use out of it. The joggers are so comfortable. They're thick, but they're not hot. Absolutely love them. I've worn them a ton this year. Another item from them that I've worn a ton are workout pants. I'm not sure the exact name. They're almost ankle length, but not quite. 
super thick again, but not hot. They seem to kind of hold you in, be kind of a compression style, but you can wear them as lounge wear or, you know, casual wear and not necessarily look like you're running to the gym. They're really comfortable, really cute. I'm really glad that I got them. Another Athleta piece that I wasn't intending on talking about, but I have to mention they had some linen shorts earlier this year. I got, I had a couple of friends get them. I'm hoping that they have them in stock again this year. If they do, I'm gonna let you guys know because they are hands down my favorite shorts that I've gotten in the past couple of years. So I'll let you guys know. So comfortable, not wrinkly, they wash well, they wear well, they're a great length too. So I had to mention those. I just I hope that they do have those again for this year because if they do, I'm gonna scoop them up in a ton of colors. I bought them in two colors this year and I really wish that I had scooped up more when I had the chance because they ran out of stock, probably because it was seasonal. I'm hoping they'll bring them back this year. What are some random things that you liked this year that really worked out well for you? Please leave those in the comments down below. I love checking out your suggestions, seeing if they work for me too. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, become part of the family. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.